Hello, welcome once again. It's uh, 1985 Land Rover we have here from Spain. Left hand drive, uh, two and a quarter engine with the Land Rover LT85 gearbox. This was developed by Santana and later used by Land Rover for its own 90 and 110 V8 models. It's known in many circles as the Santana box and it's a hugely reliable box. If we pan around the vehicle you see that uh, we've installed as usual brand new mirrors, a whole defender look front end with new light cappings, brand new halogen lights, brand new indicators, side lights, new grille. We pan up to the bonnet area or the hood, as they say in America. We have brand new checker plate, brand new wheel arch surrounds, again brand new checker plate on the side. Brand new checker plate rear quarters. Brand new military style heavy duty light guards. We have an Alco tow bar should you wish to haul anything like a speedboat or anything like that. These are excellent pull in vehicles. We have the new cappings in the Defender style, new rear reverse light new lights all, all over. I forgot to say that also brand new light guards on the front. The chassis is superb it, in a lot of areas. When you clean it back it's still still glossy. This is, uh, Spain as you know is a, a very dry place, a bit deserty in some areas. This isn't, this isn't rust, this is, this is just dust and dirt. And that's the original paint of the chassis. Fuel, extra fuel tank, that's a very desirable extra option, long range extra f fuel tank. This is an uh, optional extra and there aren't many of them that come with this optional extra fitted. If we look inside, I've installed a brand new jump seat for extra people. This makes it up to seven people. All the seats are completely reupholstered in heavy duty vinyl. A nice high quality vinyl that look, has the look of leather. Redone cubby box. You can see the five speed box here. There's the lever to manually disengage or engage the long range extra fuel tank. See that one is rear part. They're all re reupholstered to a nice condition. Mileage is 138,889 kilometers, which equates to 86,000 miles. As you can see, the clocks are in kilometers and in miles per hour. Give her a, a start up. When you're starting these cars, when they haven't been used for a while from cold, allow 30 to 40 seconds to pre preheat. Obviously they're not like the modern diesel engines and they do require a bit of time to, for the Globlex to work. You see, this is the switch here for the two fuel tanks. And as you can see, when you flip it, 
the dial moves through. That's for the long range, extra long range fuel tank as you see at the moment. As you can see that's working, it's just above the empty. And then when I flip the switch, we're back onto the normal fuel tank. Nice little thing there. You can hear the engine. Nice smooth running engine. These, these, these Land Rover units are a very low, reliable engine. This is that traditional Land Rover Rasp. Okay, I think I've taken you around the outside and around the car enough. Let's take her for a little drive. just passed its Spanish inspection road tests very recently. Gives you extra peace of mind. I always do that with my vehicles. Just for mine and your peace of mind. Anything that can be picked up will be picked up in the inspection. Another thing I forgot to mention is these later models have got power steering, which makes them a lot easier to drive. They also have power disc brakes. So, unlike the old Series 3s, they are a much, much easier car to drive. One thing I will say about my Land Rovers when I come to sell them, I don't plaster them in paint. This is not a full restoration, this is a good used car that we've just brought up to date. Made it look nice. We haven't repainted the whole car because obviously if we did that, we'd be charging a figure in somewhere of the region of 30. $35,000 for it. I don't charge that sort of money. I just like to get a nice car in the first place and tidy it up and put some nice additions on it. It's just a nice blank canvas car. 
for you to let your imagination run wild with. Okay, I hope that gives you something to work with. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And follow me on my Facebook, Gas, uh, Gas Donkey Land Rovers. Thank you. Bye-bye.